Welcome to Minnesota Music Mom. I'm Karen Davis. Well, I created this channel with everyone in mind, whether you've been playing for years or whether you're just starting out, whether you pedal, whether you don't pedal um, when playing on the organ. So I have been working out of a book that has songs for both with pedal and without pedal. And the nice thing about it is they're divided in the index. So it will show you um, songs without pedal and songs with pedal. And also at the back of the book, they have examples and articles about pedaling and how to get started and tips about um, the pedal board and hints for pedaling and practice tips. So it's uh, a very helpful book. It's titled Organ Music for the Church Pianist, Practical Service Music and Tips for the Emerging Organist. It is published by Lorenz and compiled by James Southbridge. If you go to Minnesota Music Mom playlist area and find this book, you'll see about four other songs that I've played out of it. Today, I would like to play a joyous prelude. This one does not have pedal. Now, um, if you're, you know, if you're used to pedal and you want to um, play it with pedal, you certainly can do that. But it is written um, for without pedal for people that aren't familiar with pedal. It is two pages long with two sharps and it's by Edward Broughton, B-R-O-U-G-H-T-O-N. <laughs> a joyous prelude, two pages long um, with two sharps. And it is out of the book Organ Music for the Church Pianist. Now on the second page, they have a DC Alfine. And I did repeat, but you really wouldn't have to. If you notice at the end, when I got to the end of that page, it really did sound um, nice as an ending there. So um, also on the second page, I slowed it way down, but that's not how it's written. It's written to be played brightly at 104, but when I got to the second page, I just, I just like it better slowed down. So, um, so I did that, it's just personal preference. All right, um, I want to mention to you too, now a lot of you already know this, so it's, it's not new information, but I'm trying to um, include some tips as I go here for maybe some people that aren't familiar yet, um, haven't played a lot um, of organ or haven't played in a lot of services. I wanted to let you know that hopefully if you're playing at a place or on an organ that you're not familiar with, that you get a chance to practice beforehand because it's really hard to sit down at a strange organ that's got all different kinds of stops. Um, maybe they're arranged in a different place, there are different types of stops, things are located in a different place, um, you know, just cold turkey. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll get to practice on it first. And one of the parts of practicing is to be sure that your bench is in the right spot because it really does make a difference, at least for me. 
if your bench is not in the right spot because you know it's it's all about um, reaching the pedals and playing the pedals and the length of your arms and, and all that sort of thing I have the bench at a different place that someone else has the bench and sometimes someone else maybe has played the organ um, before me and then I come in to play for a service and um, and I realize during the service that it just doesn't feel right and so what I'll do during the liturgy um, when I'm not playing or anything is I'll just flip around here and I'll switch the bench either move it closer or pull it further away and then flip back and nobody you know nobody's the wiser of course if your organ is at the front of the church it may look a little goofy if you do that you want to be a little more <laughs> A little more discreet, but um, there was uh, there was one Sunday when uh, well we have younger people playing. We welcome anyone any age that um, of people that can play services. We love to have anyone play services, and there have been times when there's been um, teenagers that have helped play for services, and unfortunately then they leave for college. <laughs> but <laughs> while they were playing, um, this one gal was playing a service and if they're not familiar with the service or they haven't played very long or they're just starting out or just on a regular basis um, when they're playing I just try to stay close by in case they need any questions answered or help or whatever and so I sit right here in the balcony um, close by and so um, there was this one service where she wasn't aware that she had to play the entire psalm the psalm is um, some verses where you can either you can either speak the verse and then um, sing the refrain or we sing the whole thing sing the verse and sing the refrain well she had practiced the refrain but she hadn't practiced the verses where everyone is singing and so that Sunday we were going to sing it and so she's sitting at the organ <laughs> during the service and the minister announces to everyone that we will now sing the entire song <laughs> and she looks at me and it's like I didn't practice. And so I said, well, do, you, do you want me to play? Do you, do you want me to sing? And she's like, yeah, yeah, come here. So she gets off the bench and I slip in and she's just this little petite gal and she had this bench so far forward. I could hardly, I just felt like I was just a giant, you know, in um, a giant on this, at this organ. So Fortunately, it worked out. I didn't have to play pedal. I didn't play pedal because there was no way I could play pedal with that at that time. But that's, you know, just a, an example where it's an emergency situation. You're not going to be able to do anything about that. I didn't have any time to adjust the bench. But my whole point in this rambling is before you start the service, make sure that you're comfortable because it really does make a difference in how you play. If you're not comfortable, if your arms are stretched out too far or they're not stretched out far enough or your feet, you know, legs, whatever, if you're not comfortable, it will make a difference, at least it does for me, as far as how you play. So I just wanted to, to give you that tip. All right, so this book again is Organ Music for the Church Pianist, Practical Service Music and Tips for the Emerging Organist. And I haven't decided yet whether I might play one more song out of here. I haven't decided yet. So thanks for stopping by, and we'll catch you next time.